Hey, what's up guys? This is Jake with HookahDaily.com and in today's review we'll be reviewing James Hookah Peanut Butter Flavor. sick these last couple days so sorry it's been um, a couple days since my last review um, but I'm anxious to go ahead and um, even though I'm still a little sick you can probably hear my voice so definitely apologize about that we got some catching up to do and without further ado let's go ahead and talk about JM's take on peanut butter this particular flavor was sent to me um, from from JM's and I definitely thank JM's for sending us out the sample of the uh, the JM's peanut butter um, as far as the cut on the, on the James peanut butter, it's going to be your typical James cut. As you know, they come in these cool little Ziploc bags, um, which are very red in color. Uh, chopped up very fine. There are a few little chopped up little stems, but it's going to be very similar to like a Fantasia, a Fantasia cut. Um, and uh, as far as the smell, this stuff smells like, it's weird. It smells kind of like, it doesn't smell like peanut butter. It has like a vanilla slash caramel type taste or smell. Maybe like a, I mean it's real heavy on like the molasses. Um, definitely smell a lot of molasses type smell in there. But it's just a very dark, um, like almost chocolatey vanilla. I want to say coffee type smell, um, but really, if, if any kind of peanut butter, kind of like a fake peanut butter, like a chemical peanut butter, something that you would get in like. Um, I don't know, like a peanut butter ice cream or, or something like that, but no, like a, not like a real peanut butter, like with the hookah hookah peanut butter, which is just outstanding and tastes and smells exactly like peanut butter. This stuff is just more like a, it's not peanut butter, that's all I can say, and you guys know how I feel about flavors that, you know, don't smell or taste like the cans both sets are supposed to. Um, as far as the taste, this one's really interesting. Me and Abby thought long and hard on exactly what the stuff tastes like. And I've, I've smoked this bowl, you know, this James peanut butter a couple times over the last couple weeks to try to get an idea of how I feel about it. And, you know, before I go any further, I can tell you that I don't like the stuff near as much as I like, say, uh, hookah hookah's peanut butter. Um, and this stuff is actually a, a, a disappointment, uh, to say the least. It's definitely not um, what I was expecting. From what other people were telling me before I got it, it was outstanding, it was delicious, it was amazing. It's not good at all. Um, it doesn't taste like peanut butter. It tastes, me and Abby were talking a little bit, it tastes a lot like like a vanilla coffee from Starbucks. Um, it, it almost has like a bitter type taste to it. And it's not just because I'm sick because I've you know, tasted this before when I'm smoking, but it has a really bitter like, kind of a, kind of like a, a weird numbing type sensation that you get from it. You don't get any sweet peanut butter. You just get, you know, you just get like a, a numbing sensation. As far as the clouds, Pretty decent sized clouds. I could probably blow some bigger ones if I wasn't under the weather, but um, clouds are going to be in line with the rest of the James line. It's really hard to take a hard inhale of this without getting that real bitter type taste. Even with you know moving the coals to the side of the, the bowl, um, you just, no matter how much you move the coal around or use heat management, add coals, take coals off, you still get the, the same like just off-putting taste. As far as the duration of the smoke of this bowl, for probably about 15 or 20 minutes, I can see the bowl going for another probably 15 minutes if I wanted it to, but I don't want it to. I don't want to smoke this stuff any longer. Just for the sake of the review, I want to get it over with, and I'll actually probably be giving this stuff away to somebody because I don't think I'll ever be smoking this again. I don't like it at all. Um, as far as the uh, buzz, no buzz whatsoever. Just like the rest of the James line, I'm not feeling anything from this. And as far as an overall score, I'm going to have to give the James peanut butter a 3.5 out of 10. <coughs> The reason the 3.5 and not something a little higher, and this is being the lowest JM's uh, flavor that I've reviewed, is just because it's not even close to what the flavor says it's supposed to it's supposed to be. It's not peanut butter at all, and I don't know what kind of peanut butter that people that they're comparing this to, or they've used the kind of flavoring they use. But unless they got the batch mixed up and I'm smoking some kind of coffee type flavor, like a cafe latte or something, or an espresso. You know, I think if this said espresso on it or cafe latte, I'd give it a little higher score, but it's not true to the name at all. It's not peanut butter. Low score and uh, <clears throat> 3.5 on the uh, James peanut butter out of 10. Till next time, guys, uh, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow or actually I'll be back Monday for you guys in the next Shisha review. I want to go in there and wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Make sure you guys hit up the forum, shishaforum.com, hit up the website, all kinds of great things going on. Till next time, guys, it's been Jake with Hookah Daily and Shisha Forum, and you guys keep smoking.
just not James peanut butter. JM's no peanut butter. That's what this is. This is JM's no peanut butter. There's no peanut butter involved in this stuff.